Viral Tehran has now urged Seoul to release billions of dollars of Iranian funds, which have been frozen in South Korea under U.S. sanctions as of now. Two days after Iran released a South Korean ship, detained since January, the South Korean Prime Minister Chung Sai Kyu and Iranian Vice President Ishak Jahangiri held a meeting in Tehran where Ishak Jahangiri urged Seoul to release Iran's financial resources. با توجه به شکاف ایجاد شده در روابط و انتظار به حق مردم ایران از دولت از دولت کره می خواهیم در اسرع وقت منابع مالی ایران را آزاد و مشکلات سالهای اخیر را با اقدامات عملی جبران نماید Iran had accused South Korea of holding hostage 7 billion dollars of its funds and amid heavy US sanctions Iran says South Korean tanker in the Strait of Hormuz off Oman in January. The move by Iran had triggered a diplomatic dispute. The seizure was widely seen as an attempt to pressurize Seoul to release Iranian assets, which are tied up in South Korean banks. But Tehran has repeatedly denied that the seizure of the vessel was linked to the funds issue. Iran had accused the tanker of polluting the waters in the crucial Strait of Hormuz. And now, according to a South Korean official, South Korea has promised to try to secure the release of Iranian funds which are frozen in South Korean banks. In a recent joint news conference, the two countries have said that they are trying to swiftly expand bilateral cooperation as soon as a joint comprehensive plan of action, that is the JCPOA, is revived. <laughs> Iran was a key oil supplier to resource poor South Korea until Seoul stopped its purchases after a U.S. decision in 2018 to unilaterally exit the Iran nuclear deal and reimpose crushing sanctions. The U.S. sanctions caused a sharp drop in Iranian exports to South Korea. U.S. President Joe Biden has signaled a readiness to revive the JCPOA accord and to salvage the accord's negotiations. And the negotiations are currently underway in Vienna between Iran and the other state parties to the 2015 deal. While Iran calls the incident sabotage by terrorists, Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has said that Israel is engaged in a massive task of preventing Iran's nuclearization. Netanyahu did not refer to the incident at Iran's Natanz facility, but spoke about the fight against Iran's nuclearization. Listen in. The fight against Iran's nuclearization and its proxies, the fight against the Iranian nuclearization, the fight against the Iranian arming is a massive task. The situation that exists today doesn't mean it will be the same situation tomorrow. It is very difficult to explain what we have done here. In this transition from nothingness, from complete helplessness, that nothing compares to it in the history of nations, to being the world power. Yes, the world power which we have built here. Hours after Iranian authorities dealt with the blackout at the Natanz facility, the Israeli defense chief Aviv Kochavi said that Iran's operations in the Middle East are not hidden from the eyes of the enemy. Meanwhile, according to a Reuters report, the Israeli public radio quoted unidentified intelligence sources saying that Israel's Mossad spy agency carried out a cyber attack against Iran's Natanz nuclear facility. Meanwhile, the U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin, who is on a two-day Israel visit, has reaffirmed the ironclad commitment of the U.S. to Israel's security. This is the first high-level U.S. trip to Israel since talks resumed on reviving the 2015 Iran nuclear accord. Austin was speaking at a joint news conference with his counterpart, Israeli Defense Minister Benny Gantz. Austin is the highest level envoy from the Biden administration yet to visit its ally Israel which said that the Biden administration would continue close consultations with Israel and work to advance shared security interests and priorities. Listen in. To convey the Biden During our meeting, I reaffirmed to Minister Gantz, our commitment to Israel is enduring and it is ironclad. And I pledge to continue close consultations in order to ensure Israel's qualitative military edge and to strengthen Israel's security. 
Gantz has also assured Austin to work closely with other U.S. allies to ensure that any new agreement with Iran prevents a dangerous arms race. Gantz added that both countries would work to ensure that any new nuclear agreement with Iran would make the region safer rather than, as Israel fears, more dangerous. The Tehran of today possess a strategic threat to international security, to the entire Middle East, and to the state of Israel. And we will work closely with our American allies to ensure that any new agreement with Iran will secure the vital interest of the world, of the United States, prevent dangerous arms race in our region, and protect the state of Israel. Austin's visit comes just days after the U.S. said that it had offered ideas to revive the nuclear agreement reached between Tehran and other world powers. U.S. Secretary of Defense will be holding a joint news conference with Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu later today. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.